we have uh, an Aatrox, perhaps. Sorry, what? what? Uh, it's Panty on top. Ah! Oh, it's Panty on top. I love it. Whoa. Okay. I, <laughs> I was trying to figure out what AP top yeah, laner he can play, yeah, but now... Every time we look at that bottom lane, Hillisang just is positioning himself so far forward. It feels like he really wants to go in as the crash down comes out from Kaiser. They turn their attention and damage onto Kazi. A lot of damage being burnt down. Remember, no flash, no cleanse. Upset holds Whoa. onto his flash. Teleport's now coming out as well. Kazi's below 50 HP. A dash forward, and he's not going to get taken out just yet. Big Knight will secure first blood for Hillisang, but Hilly will get dropped down by Humanoid, who TP'd into the fray. Now Kaiser's looking for a follow-up. Niski manages to get the Flawless Duet. He gets crashed down on once again by Kaiser in the seismic shot. He's dashed away from. Niski gets himself one kill before he's taken down by Humanoid. It's a two for two. It's crazy. Outside. Jungler's top, we got another one. We're right back in. This is not a replay. This is another fight. Well, Yoya's here already, and Hellasang is going to be left for dead. The rest of Mad Lions looking to run him down. Selfmade is just about to enter the fray. At least bought a lot of time, and Selfmade decides to back. Two kills onto an Azir. The other kill is on the Zaya. Mad Lions are very happy with what's happened so far. Mad Lions will have some support. That's a great slide glide. Emperor's Divide into a beautiful stun from Kaizen. Lane rotations and gank opportunities, so very nicely done once again, and now we're going to the top lane. We absolutely are. Cyclone into the Nimbus Strike. Alyoya joins the fight as well, and Whippo gets done. As well. Now that global just can be used to engage in top, and he sees where Armut is. Gonna jump on him, a lot of damage coming out. The Comet's Pia thrown out as well. Armut 400 HP. That's a solo kill. Down, and Whippo should be able to finish this off easily. So Herald so should go down before Fnatic can arrive, not available just yet, and will actually get picked up there. Now Hilly will look for Kazi. He gets caught out, stunned. Flash over the wall by Niski. Defensive flash. Kazi stays alive long enough to get Mad Lions into the fight. Hillisang will be the next target. And a seismic shove throws him backwards along with the Zenith Blade. Now Pupo is going to start slapping down on Alyoya. He gets a kill back. Pupo turns his attention to Humanoid as Niski and Selfmade trying to join. While well, that's going on, Armut is pushing Armut? the top lane. Like, help your team, dude. You have TP, you have ultimate. Do something. He's just hitting turret plates. Uh, I, I don't know. Like, Fnatic should not be at a numbers, uh, even numbers, right? And Upset's pushing down bot side, but Armut decided to back away from the Rift Herald Salt, hitting the top tower. And sure, he gets a billion gold off of that play for himself, but the rest of his team got hit hard. Now, can Armut get away with his life? Cyclone is available to him. No way you no die here, too. Flash. And Whippo and Selfman are trying to find him in the vision. Teleport coming in from Humanoid as well as Niski. Armut's going to be able to buy some time with that Cyclone and gets away. The Nimbus Strike will be able to deliver him to Niski. Now Humanoid's already thrown out. The Emperor's Divide and Armut is chunked down. Humanoid Sand Soldiers, not enough to pick up Niski. And Whippo is maybe going to sacrifice himself. The Sand Soldiers get one back. Selfmate steps in forward once more and will die to the tower. That is a two for tools and skirmishing. Okay, Whippo, what are we doing? Can play into their advantage. Whippo's already got himself one solo kill against Armut. It's Gore Drinker versus Gore Drinker. Whippo's just going to wait for the cooldowns and not going to be able to have the range there on that Q. So this Should time... Top lane before it goes down. But that top turret has taken quite the beating with all the time Armut spent on that side of the map. So they take down that turret and now... Self-made with Krill, Yoya. That's a lot of damage! damage. I mean, just the full combo deletes Alleria where he stands. And that's kind of a good... Oh, no, he doesn't have flash, though. Cannot get out just yet. Emperor's Divide oh, into a fantastic no. combo. So one for one. No, so I actually like the idea of what Selfmade was trying to do there by hiding in the pit, because there were control wards on both sides and that he didn't know, right? So he thinks without a flash, with people collapsing, he hides inside the pit. But with control wards being up, they expected, wait a second, he actually didn't leave. He's standing in the same place, so he does get punished. Fnatic will get the turret on the bot side of the map, and now it's it's a race. Junglers it's need to get back. That Fnatic have. So in a straight up 5v5, especially once items get uh, in the hands of Mad Lions. They're going to look super, super good. Kaz is just going to hop out to safety. The question is, Fnatic will always have the upper hand in skirmishes, and that's where Whippo's looking for real kick. Whippo's got a lot of damage onto Alyoya with the go. help of Selfmade. is easily able to take it. Oh, to they want him. They really want him. Yeah, they really do. Fnatic, again, signaling their intent. No ultimate from Selfmade. He may not need it. The Feather Flies from Kaz. He stays alive long enough for Kaiser to jump in, and Fnatic are diving in between two turrets. It's just a bit over Did the self top. Selfmade know that he didn't have ultimate? Because that looks like a play you go for when you know you have ult and you can get out to safety, but it wasn't up. Well, that means that Selfmade goes down, to diving on top of Kazi. Armor with the Cyclone will buy so much time. Whippo joins and picks up a kill of his own now. Really nice little buff there for Selfmade and to this champion. Well, we need to track what Fnatic's vision looks like, because if 
Yeah, South in particular, that hourglass rail. Goya, I love it. We got to play in the bot side, 2v2, let's go. All right, Niski and Armut are currently trading for the time being. Dwipo joins the break. Humanoid's got the Emperor's Divide. He's going to need to use it to buy time, and he does. Armut escapes with his life for now. What? Niski with the huge outplay. That was ridiculous. Yeah, they did get a pretty sizable shutdown on Humanoid 2. I love the way Selfmade's playing. He knows he can't be seen. Well, now he's seen him. Kaiser, he wants in. Fantastic engage with the Magnus Storm. Hillian Whipple is so, so low. That's a trade of support for now. Fnatic are able to retreat. The Rift Herald was dropped, and that will pick up a tower in favor of Fnatic. Recall coming out from Bwipo. Here's the thing, though. Armut, he has his ultimate. He's level 11, and he TP'd into this fight. He wasn't even there when Kaiser went in for that one-for-one -one trade. And him and El Yoya, oh, man. Are they going to be able to find Fnatic? Are Fnatic going to take the aggressive way in? I don't think they know they're even there, but they have to back away. Now, do Fnatic want to try and contest this at all? No, it's one dragon apiece thus far. They'll concede it. That Weavers will cut off uh, a little bit of the support. It's not greatly placed. There's the engage from Hilly. He flashed in, managed to get the Zenith play. Humanoid buys time with the Empress Divine. Upset. Look at upset. Alone. He's on the back line trying to take down Kazi. He's got the damage, but he's stunned. Knocked up by the Cyclone. Manages to get back to Fnatic before Armour takes him out with that Cyclone of his own. This is going to be three kills going to Fnatic. But they did lose their tower in the fray. Everything Fnatic were doing just under the tower. And he managed to get back to his team. And unfortunately, Armored Cyclone was right. Sticks around long enough. He's going to be able to hammer this one down. We'll run out of minions for a moment or two. And Fnatic content to sit back. They've got they all the action just moved everywhere else. He's got himself that Phantom Dancer completed. And the Solar Flare from Hilly. Yeah, take that, Karzy. Wondering what there was uh, fishing for in there. I remember Selfmade committed his flash just a few moments ago. This Red Bull Baron power play, plus 2,000. Wow. All the pressure going the way of Fnatic, and now the map is completely wide open. It becomes so much more challenging for Mad Lions to find the team fight that they want, the correct setup for it, as well as they gear up to try and defend their final remaining inner Ooh. turret. What do you make of Niski's build? I want to ask that question in a moment or two. Is Humanoid? How's, how good's he feeling? Being pressured. Humanoid will have some support from Aloya. There's an engage from Fnatic on the top lane. Whippo will just about oh. get the kill before he's taken down in the 2v1. Now Fnatic are in some trouble as the Feather Storm is hold on for now. Kazi not under enough threat. They are able to take out Niski inside the red buff of Mad Lions, but Humanoid is the target. Selfmade is hunting. Oh, but the Very turret good. goes. Just wants to find any stragglers. Looking for a target. Oh, he's Hugging got him. It's going to be the one. He goes golden. Thanks to that hourglass. First item purchase. Now Selfmade's in a little bit of trouble. Lost Chris for quite some time. And the seismic shove was fantastic. Up and giving Selfmade away into the fight is so critical. But the crazy thing is, even when they look so good, there is still counters to them. Selfmade will buy some time. Jumps on Humanoid, almost takes him out. The Vanguard's edge jumps forward. Now Kazi forced to use the ultimate himself. Niski's the first one to die. And the Magnet Storm is great from Kazi. Now Whippo's jumping upset. in the back, and that's upset. He's got himself one carry. Turns his attention to Alioya, flashes over the wall. Empress Divide knocks him away for the time being. Selfmade around. Uh, here comes Selfmade with the re-engage. He's blown up by the Sand Soldiers. Upset's going so low, and he's dropped as well. They died too quickly. Mad Lions have won the fight and aced Fnatic. The team to survive throughout it. They're going to pick up the Baron and take a major lead in the game. It is impossible. Fnatic. Look at Fnatic's positioning on the map, setting up a potential flank here, but there's so many control wards they have to get through. There's no way they can dodge away from all of this vision. Now three members resetting while Selfmade goes all the way around. Selfmade might actually be able to dodge away from this vision. Niski will be seen, but here we go. All right, Hellasang gets a fantastic solo play. Upset jumps in with the killer instinct, but he's knocked back immediately. Upset stays alive just a few seconds longer. Has the GA available, will now be revived. Selfmade is on the flank. He needs to get in really quick because Upset's just about to go down. Kaiser wasn't able to find any more. But the Azir turret, he can't let him flank. Off. They can't get around it. Niski's able to shut down Humanoid, but this is such a long fight. Now all of a sudden, Armut, with those crushing blows of the crushing blows, is tearing apart Fnatic. Selfmade jumps in. After Mad Lions were sieging the inhibitor oh, string for an engage. Hillisang goes forward and starts to back away. That's the ultimate from Whippo. Armut commits the Cyclone as well. Looking for Selfmade and Niski to find targets, and they can't just yet. Hillisang goes in. Oh, once no. More, but that's not enough. That may have been to... I don't know, stop Just Mad the mid lane, man. I, I, there's a lot of space for Mad Lions to work with. The question that I would have asked in any other game was why did they engage there? I'm not going to pose that to you because it's not fair. Baron's going down. Whippo's on the bottom lane. 
Where is the pressure? Barons down to 3,000. Selfmade steps forward. Fnatic, they stand close by, but absolutely nothing happens. A lot of damage onto Kazi, and the Solar Flare comes down, but Selfmade is dead. He's dropped where he stands. Bubbo finally arrives to the fight for the Emperor's Divide, sends Fnatic backwards. Upset, and Hillisang against the world. The last man standing is the newest man to Fnatic, and Upset starts. They're TPing in the base. Away. They're trying to end the game, Trevor. They've got the Baron. They've got the ability to do it. Upset will try to take down Al Yoya, and he should be able to just about do it. That's it, Mad Lions on the Nexus. They survive the onslaught that Fnatic throw and Mad Lions take down Fnatic. Mad Lions showing up in a big way.